So I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little bit tired of Netflix. <clears throat> and I wanted to try something else. So I like audiobooks. I always liked audiobooks. So I wanted to test Audible. And it was a few surprising experiences with this solution here. So in Audible, you have a lot of different books you can listen to. And I got myself a subscription. And so I got some premium membership plus, and I'm paying like 10 US dollars, 100, 11 US dollars, 119 Norwegian crowns per month. And with that, I don't really get anything. The expectation in this, with this uh, solution is that you have books you can read just like you have movies in Netflix, right? But that is not really the case. It's a lot of books available and there's nothing wrong with that. But if I want to read a book, I don't know if there's any book I want to read here, but let's see. I want to read about, yeah, let's find a book. Let's see, I want to read about Bruce Springsteen, right? And then I have to pay for this book, even if I have a premium subscription. So I don't agree to that. I simply don't. I have a premium subscription. I want to read books with that money I already spent. In Audible, that is not possible. You have books available. It's not about that. You have books. Let's see if we can find a book. Uh, we can do a search here and uh, let's search for computer then for example and now you see a lot of books here they also also podcasts um, since Meyer that's fun right because who doesn't love that game so that's interesting I have to buy it why do I have to buy this book I just want to click play that's not possible so I have to push this button here what's included in my membership and then we can see we have something the deep learning revolution maybe that's interesting cyber hacking there's some good books here probably hackers and painters that sounds very interesting and that's included so this book i can listen to and we can try to start listening to this book this is audible upfront books dedication for mom Note to listeners. The chapters are all independent of one another, so you don't have to listen to them in order. And you can skip any that bore you. If you come across a technical... So there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, we can look at the chapters here and what you can't say. Let's Chapter see. 3. What you can't say. Have you ever seen an old photo of yourself and been embarrassed at the way you looked? Did we actually dress like that? We did. And we had no idea how silly we looked. And I mean, maybe this book is good. I have no idea about that. But what I do know is that my selection of books, even if the quality here is great, and maybe even I have some books that isn't just sold in some uh, newspaper stands, which is considered... I don't know, a bit too pop arty. I mean, I like weird books, maybe a little bit too geeky sometimes. And Amazon have them, right? It's not like you can't get them. But you have to pay for them. And as you can see, there's a lot of included books here. Do, am I interested in No, I'm not. I'm interested in all the other books, which I have to pay $10 for. And that is what I don't understand. Why doesn't this work like Netflix? Obviously, Amazon wants to make money for themselves and for the writers, and I respect that. But we live now in a world where everybody's used to Netflix. So, I mean, I can pay a higher premium if I could get more books, and not only some pop art or close to, or maybe they have something that's a little bit off and maybe interesting, but the book I really wanted to read, for example... Let's go back. And it's coming. That's actually quite cool.
So let's see if I can find this book I spend one credit on and see how what it says about it. It's about the MOG synthesizer, which I find very interesting. And there it is. It's uh, switched on, is the book called. And here it says the title will be delivered to your library on February 21st when it's released. And that's good. As I spend one credit on this. One credit is something you get every month. Uh, let me read for you what they say on the Aud Audible web page. How credits work. Audible member get at least one credit a month, and each credit is good for any title you choose, regardless price or length. Depending on your membership, you can roll over a certain amount of unused credits before they expire. And please note, if you cancel your membership, you will lose your remaining credits. So, and that's what you get basically for this eleven dollar. Oh, what, what is it in Norwegian? One hundred ninety Norwegian crowns per month, which I'm paying for the premium subscription. And then I get one book. So basically, that's what it is. There are free books here, there's podcasts, but what you really want to read is probably a bit specific, probably a little bit off if you're geeky like me, and then this just, this just costs money, so yeah.